Good evening. Newly released lapel video is shedding light on the hit and run death of 15 year old Manny Tapia. In it, witnesses describe seeing police chasing after a vehicle, then moments later finding Tapia's body in the middle of the road. News 13's Chris McKee is live in the newsplex this evening with that video. Chris? Yeah, Dean, plenty of witnesses told APD that night a police officer was chasing after a truck last month near Coors and Ellison, but officers seemingly had no idea that someone was hit in the process. I'm rolling. Body camera video captured an APD officer flooring it. Lights and sirens blaring, two officers in their car were chasing after a stolen truck for at least 30 seconds. Is it going to pull over or did it flee? Negative, it's negative. still going at high rate speeds, we're just going to call it west side. Moments later, hey, you guys see what happened? Officers arriving at Coors and Ellison, responding to calls of a body in the road, a man who's been hit by a car. Yeah, the truck was just stolen. stolen. Oh. The victim lying in the street was 15 year old Cibola High School student Manny Tapia. Initially, no one saw what hit him. All we saw was there was a truck racing through the red light and a cop car following him. And then as we got here, we saw him Where laying. The witness tried to give Tapia CPR, but he didn't survive his injuries. As officers surveyed the scene, they also met two witnesses who saw Tapia crossing the street. I took one look at him and all of a sudden see this truck zoom by. After that, I didn't see him at all. Just his shoes on the ground. What witnesses described happening quickly weighed on the minds of officers. Oh, but it gave us a piece of mind, bro. I didn't see the, the, the truck clip anybody. Either. If the guy in the truck did clip him, he clipped him before we, we, we would ever even notice or saw it. You know what I mean? The police have arrested someone, a Juan Carlos Ramirez, who is believed to have stolen the truck connected to the hit and run case. However, one month later, police still haven't charged Ramirez or anyone else with Tapia's death. Dean. All right, Chris, thank you. Ramirez has only been named a person of interest in a vehicular homicide at this point, but prosecutors and police have not said which one. He's expected to stay behind bars while his stolen vehicle case moves through the courts.